Hey y'all, my name is Unique Love, also known as Jaya, and here we have my girlfriend Jenny. Um, we have something that we want to share with you. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new to our channel. I know, I know, I know. It's been a minute and I'm usually on here cooking and talking about food and stuff. But I really, really, really have something that I want to share. So please subscribe. Make sure you like and comment on this video if you're enjoying it. And um, I'll give you a second to do that. And I'll be right back. We'll be right back. Right, Jenny? We'll be right back. cut my hair off um can i believe i cut my hair off yeah but it was a long journey um before i got to where i am now i've been wanting wanting to cut my hair um since before quarantine i think i reached out to a hairdresser in february and was planning to cut my hair in may but covid happened right so i couldn't go to the salon um, because of quarantine so I decided that I was going to cut it myself um and if you've seen on my Instagram I cut it like maybe to like four inches um maybe two inches with the shrinkage and I colored it I was trying to go blonde but I ended it I ended up coloring it what looked like a copper color like the same color as my pants <laughs> um and it came out really cute but it really wasn't what I wanted um, I wanted it to be short. I wasn't intending to be, you see the shine? I wasn't intended to be, I wasn't intending, sorry, for it to be this short. Um, but I did know that I wanted like a Caesar or something that I can like brush my hair and go. Um, put a do-rag on, you know, feel comfortable in that way. Um, <sighs> So let's start with the inspiration of why I wanted to cut my hair. Some months ago, pre-COVID, I wrote a blog um, for Love Lot LLC, which is my business that I have alongside my best friend, Simone Loud. I wrote a blog um, entitled, I Am Not My Hair. And I should have brought Jenny downstairs. This is Jenny. <laughs> my man again, we look alike now. We twin. We usually have wigs on, but bye wig. Anyway, I wrote a blog entitled I Am Not My Hair. This girl here is my favorite girl to come to at the end of the day. Take off my wig and pop it right on here. And in that blog, I shared my insecurities of um, finding out basically that I have traction alopecia. And traction alopecia is just a clean way of saying she ain't got no edges. <laughs> Um, I found out that my hair was receding when I was, I think, I think that was sixth grade and my peers started pointing it out to me. But prior to that, I didn't, you know, I really wasn't paying attention to it. So I'm really good at hiding my flaws. So I would like wear hairstyles where you couldn't really see, um, my balding spots. Um, I would wear bangs. I look good in bangs, but I would wear bangs all the time, like the big long bangs. So then they cover that front part. Um, and then I got into weaves. The weaves just made it worse. So if you're suffering from that too, don't get the weaves. And because a lot of hairstylists, even though they may be knowledgeable and stuff, they don't all listen. They seem to, as far as like my experience, um, want to care for how their work is going to look opposed to how your hair is going to look when you take it out. Um, so anyway... Um, I got into wigs and I love wigs. I look good on my wigs, okay? I love my wigs, but I wanted to get to a point where if I didn't want to wear my wigs, what can I feel comfortable with? I never felt comfortable with my own hair. My own hair is very thin, um, very fragile. Is I felt like I looked like Cynthia. <laughs> you know Cynthia from Rugrats? That's what I felt like I looked like. Um, so I wanted to put like all that aside because it really made me feel insecure. I never felt good with my own hair. So I wanted to get a hairstyle that blended in with my insecurities. And girl, that gave me confidence. <laughs> I did like that. 
I ain't even got no hair. But um, I I feel really good with having this haircut. Um, so when I went to the hair salon and got my haircut, um, she wouldn't let me see my hair. And not that I wanted to, but she didn't let me see my hair until I was done. And I wanted to touch it so bad, like, oh, like, what does it feel like? Everything like that. Um, but I didn't touch it. I was, I was well behaved. And she handed me the mirror, not purposely, but she handed me the mirror backwards. And she was like, ta-da. And I looked and she was like, oh, so sorry. So anyway, I walked to, like, where it was better lighting. And when I flipped the mirror, I was like, oh, I look good. Like, that's the first thing that came out of my mouth, that I look good. I was so ecstatic. I was so happy um, about my haircut. And since then, uh, that was last week. I don't know when I'm going to put this video out. Hopefully this week. Hopefully tomorrow. But um, when I walked out of the salon, I was just so happy. Like, so comfortable. I haven't worn a wig since. And I go with my wig every day. I never, unless I'm going to the gym, I never go without my wig. So, I feel really good. One of my favorite things about my haircut thus far is, aside from freedom, is feeling the wind stroke my head and feeling the sun gleam down on my scalp. It feels amazing. It really feels good. Oh, and when I'm in the shower, and the freaking water just splatter splatters on my head. <laughs> it's like a good massage. It's so freeing. I love it. I'm in love with yay. I don't know what else to say about my haircut. Um, but I'm just happy. And I don't plan to grow it out, y'all. This is me. This is how my hair is going to be. Um, I do want it to to grow out a little bit so that I can like get designs in my hair um in different styles with it I guess um but I'm content I am content I'm happy I am loving this on me and not that it matters what other people are saying but people's reactions make me like smile so hard like my cheeks hurt I was hoping to get this video out first but I ended up going to work and everybody was like oh my god you look so great like repeatedly and you can tell that they were sincere about it um and then it wasn't just like oh that cut looks great they were like yo it's so fitting it's so becoming of you like you look you rocking that and i was like thank you thank you so much um bro i'm just happy i don't know what to say like specifically i thought i was gonna be in front of the camera have a whole itinerary of what i wanted to say and hit these certain points but there weren't like really many questions that people were asking. It was just like, what made you do it? Oh, you're so bold. You're so um, confident. Um, you look beautiful. Yes, bitch. You know, um, stuff like that. But it, there weren't really many questions aside from that. Um, my cousin asked me, how do I feel? And I was just like, happy. So, yeah, I feel happy. I feel free. I feel beautiful. I feel bold. And it's me.